What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Hope everyone is having an amazing day as always. Today we have a very exciting unboxing. This is the Kershaw Bel Air, a new knife from Kershaw. So yeah, let's go ahead and open her up. Take this little snack pack out. Wow guys, take a look at this. I'm really off the bat just digging, really digging this uh, this finish on the, the scales. So the scales are aluminum with this really nice, uh, it's called Bright Nickel Cerakote. And man, that looks really, really nice. Very nice and slim. Pocket clip is done really nice too. We have a, a pretty uh, a deep carry there, if I would say so myself. Um, you're not going to have any handle sticking out the pocket there. It looks like we have nice and flat screws right there. And then we have a lanyard hole there. Open construction with two standoffs right there and it looks like the standoff is going to be using one of those screws to hold it in place on each side centering centering looks good we have some nice jimping right there uh, towards the the back end of the knife for some extra grip it looks like. Access style lock. Looks like a, uh, um, oh, what's the word? I forgot, a uh, captive pivot screw there. Nice access bar there. Doesn't stick out too far, which is nice. Keeps it nice and slim. Thumb studs are done very well yeah let's go ahead and open her up oh wow yeah check this out guys really nice uh black wash finish on this blade I, I love a black wash finish we have magna cut steel guys check that out this is coming in at 60 to 63 hrc uh, from Kershaw's website 6105 which I believe is probably the model number made in the USA yeah I love this blade shape I think they're calling it a reverse tanto uh, but it's kind of like a uh, modified sheep's foot almost Really nice uh, sharpening choil and plunge grind done very well. You're going to have a ton of life out of this blade. We got some jimping on the spine of the knife right there. And check how thin this blade is. Very nice and slicey. We got a full flat grind blade. But yeah, this is very, very nice and thin. Uh, let's check. Do we have any internal milling? No, no internal milling, but this this knife is pretty light. Let's check out the action and the detent. Wow. Oh my goodness. So this is running on bearings. Wow. Some I think some people might say that the detent is probably too light on this, but I love how this detent is. Wow, really, really well done. Let's check out Ergo's real quick. So I can get a full four finger grip here. Wow, this feels really good too. The pocket clip uh, doesn't get in the way too much. I can't really feel it feels good in the hands. I can choke up here on this little flat surface right there. 
and that still continues to feel really good. Um, pinch grips for utility cuts, draw cuts like that. Yeah, it feels really good in the hands too. I feel like I have a very positive and controlled grip on this and I can, you know, do any type of cutting I need to do with that. Let's check out uh, overall length real quick. Real quick and uh, cutting edge length. So overall length, we're looking at about seven and a quarter uh, without the pocket clip length because the pocket clip does extend out a little bit further than the handle. Uh, we're looking at about seven inches overall and then seven and a quarter with that pocket clip sticking out just a little bit. Cutting edge length is just a little bit under three inches, I'd say right there. Let's see, let's get, let's get a weight on this guy. The weight is 2.9 ounces, which is very nice to see. Let's do a little comparison with the Benchmade bug out here. This is the uh, S30, S30V blade, with a black coating on it. We have the CF Elite scales. So it's like a, <clears throat> a mixture of carbon fiber with, uh, I believe, nylon material uh, mixed into that blade. So it's gonna be pretty light. Let's go ahead and get a quick weight on the bug out here. So it's gonna be, so 1.9, it's probably coming in at 1.7, 1 1.8 1 uh, without the paracord lanyard there. So we have um, a little over an ounce. The, the Bel Air is a little bit over an ounce heavier than the bug out here, but you are getting really nice aluminum scales with a fantastic Cerakote on them. And let's check to see a comparison of the blade stock there. So it looks like the Bel Air might be uh, a little bit thinner than the the uh, Benchmade here, the Bug Out. Overall lengths. The, <clears throat> the Bug Out here looks just a little bit longer uh, than the Bel Air. Sorry, the, yeah, the bug out looks a little bit longer than the Bel, the Bel Air. Cutting edges are very similar. I think the, the bug out here has a little bit longer of a cutting edge. And yeah, I'd say I think the Bel Air might be a little bit more comfortable in hand just because it has this nice, uh, more pronounced choil area there. Handle thickness. Uh, very similar, it's hard to tell, but very similar. The action on both of them are really well. Well done. Now, <clears throat> this is probably gonna be very controversial, but would I say that this is a bug out killer? Um, I don't know. I. Let's see how much the 
bug out with carbon fiber elite scales is coming in at. So the bug out, this model right here, off the Bench, Benchmade website is coming in at $190. You're getting about one point, let's get an accurate weight on how much uh, this actually weighs. So off the Benchmade website, this is 1.8 ounces. This is 1.9. This is coming in at between 150, 160, uh, 160 bucks. This is 190. Magna Cut versus S30V. And this is about, you know, 30 to 40 bucks cheaper. I would say that this is a bug out killer, in my opinion. Everyone is going to have a different opinion. Uh, Absolutely no blade play up, down, left, or right. Let's check this. There is a tiny bit of play left and right. None up or down. Yeah, I mean, the, the fit and finish on this is fantastic. I do believe that this is a bug out killer. So let's go ahead and put this away. Yeah, if, if you're looking for a, a knife of this profile, like the Bug Out, for example, I think this is a perfect option. The pocket clip is done very well. You have a nice ramp going in and out of the pocket. Fit and finish is fantastic. Quality. Kershaw always, you know, nails it when it comes to that. Very reputable brand and company. Magnet cut steel with an HRC of 60 to 63. Very nice utilitarian blade shape. Very nice thin and slicey. Full flat grind. Factory edge. Um, it could probably use a little love in my opinion. Yeah, guys, I'll be carrying this for probably the next few weeks to maybe do a more in-depth review. But so far, I think this is a fantastic knife. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.